welcome to video 4 of the Animating Bitmoji video series. My name is Chris, I'm an Air Engineer here at Snap, and in this video we will walk through adding props to our Bitmoji so you can have 3D assets move along with your Bitmoji as it plays an animation. With that, let's jump in. So here we are in Lens Studio, and we're going to want to open up the asset library to find the props that we'll be using for the lens. In our case, we will import the Magician Pack into our project. We will also want to download the Bitmoji Joint Attachment custom component, which will handle the attachment of content to the Bitmoji avatar without us needing to look through the rig. Next, let's add the Bitmoji Magician assets to the scene. When attaching props to an animated object, it is helpful to have the prop as a child of an anchor object, so you can adjust the position of the prop without messing with the binding of the anchor to the joint. These assets have already been pre-configured for this scenario, so let's go ahead and drag and drop them into the asset browser to create prefabs. We can then delete them from the scene. Now we're ready to import an animated Bitmoji, and with Lens Studio 5.1, we introduced a new Bitmoji animation feature in the Gen AI suite. So let's open that up and we can see that there are a ton of animations to choose from. And the cool part here is that they can be automatically stitched together through AI to create a really unique sequence of movements. For our scenario, let's import the Excited Reveal animation. Once importing is complete, we can see that the Bitmoji is automatically added to the scene and is playing the selected animation. If we select the Bitmoji animation controller, we can deselect the autoplay checkbox, which will be helpful when we're trying to position the props in the next step. Let's also change the playback mode to single so the animation doesn't loop. Now we are ready to attach the objects. So let's add the Bitmoji joint attachment and configure the fields. We need to add the Bitmoji component, set the wand as the prefab, and set the animation player reference. With those set, we can see the wand in our hand, but the positioning isn't quite right. The easiest way to adjust this is to add a device tracking component to our camera. This will allow us to get a closer view as we adjust the offset values in the Bitmoji joint attachment component. With that added, let's also change the preview to an interactive preview and zoom into the Bitmoji by right clicking and pressing W to go forward and Q to descend. Now we can adjust the values within the component to align the wand with the hand. I have already found these values, but feel free to adjust them until you find a positioning that works for you. Now if we select autoplay, we can see that the Bitmoji is perfectly holding the wand as it moves around through its animation. Great, we're almost there. Now let's repeat this process for the top hat. So duplicate the Bitmoji joint attachment scene object, and adjust the joint to be the head, the prefab to be the hat, and then find the offsets that work well for this object. For this object, we'll need to flip it 180 degrees along the x-axis due to the way it was configured. With that set, click autoplay in this new component, and we can see the Bitmoji is animated with the props attached to the avatar perfectly. And with that, our Bitmoji is well on its way to becoming a magician. Through the power of the Bitmoji Joint Attachment component, we can easily attach 3D objects to our Bitmoji rig. So now you have everything you need to know to enable Bitmoji for Lens Studio and add assets to the character. If you want to take this lens further, we have a written tutorial on our doc site, which walks through these same steps as well as some next steps to complete this lens experience. You can find the link for that in the description below. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you have any questions, please reach out to us on the Discord.